Good morning, gentlemen. Steve Beeson with American Iron Works. This morning we're going to perform a test on some 2 inch 1502 piping. We're going to be testing the gang line restraint system. We're going to have a third party inspection group come in and witness the test and verify that everything is installed properly and that there are no sharp edges. We're not sure what the uh, pipe is going to fail at yet. We're shooting for 3,000. The, the system is rated for 15. But in some recent tests uh, back in September, we tested it three different times and it failed uh, 4,800 on one test, 4,400 PSI on another test, and 7,800. Again, we're just going to bring in a third party inspection group this morning to kind of witness and, and make sure that our results of our original test were, were accurate. One of the things that I'd like to explain, I know it's not politically correct to, to test your competitor's products, but something that I would like to share with you. Over the years, what we are seeing, we're seeing a lot of product put out in the field that is not safe. I'd like to give you a couple examples this morning of what I'm talking about. We, a couple of years ago, they were selling these four ply nylons here with a 16,000 PSI rating. We tested them and, and showed that the system failed at 8,000 PSI and they had a worldwide recall. Um, a year or so ago we did some testing on another of the, the rope manufacturers type restraints and they were using this they were using this inch and an eighth orange to secure 3 inch 1502. We tested it and showed that it wouldn't work so what they did is they, they took the same tag from this inch and a quarter here and they installed it on a little bit larger rope like this right here and we tested this and showed them that it wouldn't work and now they are using this for the same thing and you can see how large that is. So again on our testing we, we never do this testing to make a company look bad. But if we didn't do the testing, what we find is that when there's failures in the field, um, the manufacturer will come back in and say, well, the, the system really didn't fail, it was cut. And that's what happened on the gang line. The gang line, we, we saw a failure in the field on the gang line, and it slung a chicks in several hundred feet, and it was a near miss on two employees. So we, we, we purchased some gang line and did some testing in September, performed three tests. Um, one of the tests, the, the system failed at 7,800. We lowered the PSI. The system failed at 4,800. We lowered the PSI to 4,400 and uh, it failed in that also. And when we heard of the failure in the field uh, with the gang line, one of the things that upset me is that when we asked if, if the Trinity Sling stood behind the system, we were informed that they said no, they didn't stand behind it, that the, the rope didn't fail, that it was cut. Well, that, that's, that's BS and you know it. If you buy a system, you want it to hold to 15,000. So what we're going to do this morning, we're going to test this. I'm not sure what it's going to fail at yet, but we're going to give it a shot and we'll have a third party inspection group here to witness it. So let's see how it performs. Okay. We went to 32. Mm. You think 32? We'll look at the camera to see exactly what we. You think 32?
We'll have to look at the camera a little bit closer. We were somewhere between 32 and 3400. John, did you see the camera? Uh, I was looking at the gauge itself, and I was thinking 32 was the last one I saw. Yeah. But then whenever it went off, I, I jumped. <laughs> yeah, same with me. We'll look at the camera. But again, uh, we just had a, a third party uh, inspection engineering company, this is John here. And he'll uh, write up a report showing that the systems were installed correctly and that the gang line that was uh, had a PSI rating of 15,000 failed at 3,200 PSI. 